Let's get into a top 40 extra on this fantasy playlist. Actually, it's an ad. The ad's on this fantasy playlist, June the 4th, 1984. It is to your left. To your left. And uh, some of the ads that week, Prime Time by the Alan Parsons Project. Prime Time was the runner-up to Don't Answer Me. I believe was the name of the record by the Alan Parsons Project, which was, a, which was a pop hit. Adult contemporary hit in early 1984, Turn to You by the Go-Go's. That was their follow-up to, I believe it was Head Over Heels, Turn to You. It didn't make top 40, or if it did, it just barely made top 40. But I love that record. Rocking record by the Go-Go's. Ghostbusters by Ray Parker added that one that week. Elton John Sad Songs and a Lost 45. Jenny Burton and uh, Patrick Jude. The song is called Strangers in a Strange World. A ballad. Jenny Burton, boy, she just kicked it. She know how she knew how to kick it vocally. If you listen to her vocals, kind of, it's kind of like uh, say think of Anita Baker doing disco. Trying to think of somebody else, Evelyn Champagne King, just just a magnificent vocalist. She's doing gospel now, and I'll get in a little bit of that in just a minute. Uh, Strangers in a Strange World is from a movie. Forgotten about this movie. It was a hip hop movie. It was a movie about hip hop culture in New York City back in the early '80s called Beat Street. Break dancing, DJing, and graffiti. The movie did pretty well, from what I gathered off of Wikipedia. It sold over 16 million box office receipts 16 million dollars at uh, Beat Street the name of the movie does some of those big rappers uh, well known rappers back in the day back in the early days of hip hop were in that movie remember Dougie Fresh man you, you know if you were into a Dougie Fresh now you're getting the Houdini getting the Run DMC you know you're jamming out Dougie Fresh and there was uh, uh, Grandmaster Mel Mel and the Furious Five and that was badass right there Back in the day, baby. Yes, indeed. And Jeannie Bird did this song with the uh, oh, the fellow's name. I only wrote their last names on the fancy playlist. But it was Patrick Patrick Jude, I believe, was the name. Let me double check and make sure I got that last name right. Yeah, Patrick D Jude, indeed. Jeannie Burton. Jeannie Burton, she sang, she was a lead singer. A dance R&B band. It was called C-Note. No, I take that back. C-Bank. And uh, she went solo in 1983 and came out with some dance dance records. Uh, players, Rocksteady. Rocksteady was a pretty good one, but she went to number one with Bad Habits on the dance charts in 1984. Boy, she killed it on Bad Habits. Listen to that sick beat, boy. It's got that boom, 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 that third beat or third or fourth beat accentuated in that song. It's just a classic 80s dance record. Did well on R&B, too. Top 20 on R&B, Bad Habits. And uh, she, she does this song off this movie, Strangers in a Strange World, which is a ballad. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Atlantic Star, a little bit. And it didn't do too well on Billboard's Hot 100. Went to number 54 on Billboard's Hot 100. But she moved on. She She... She and her husband, or a producer, his name was Peter Link. He was a Broadway songwriter. They formed a band. She formed an outfit called the Jenny Burton Experience. They had some success, an inspirational group. They opened for Al Green at Trump Marina, or Marina, that was for Al Green, and later she the the Jenny the Jenny Burton Experience. They performed with Morris Day and the Time and the Gap Band. It was at the Indianapolis Black Expo in front of eighty thousand people. This was later on in her career. The Jenny Burton Experience. They played live, standing room only. They sold out consistently for seven years. It was at a nightclub, a cabaret in New York City called Don't Tell Mama. And I'm not a person who goes out. I'm not a going out type of person. But these nightclubs fascinate me. Don't Tell Mama. Boy, I checked out their website. It is something else. It's a fancy place. It, there, there is a combo of sorts. There is a piano bar. A restaurant, a cabaret, and a comedy center of sorts. Two cabarets, and it's, uh, well, cab well, two cabarets separate, and, and a restaurant, a restaurant, piano bar, and the theater district of New York City. And boy, loads of big people have, have performed at Don't Tell Mama. Ben Miller, um, uh, Joan Rivers, 
Rosie O'Donnell, Kathy Griffin all performed at Don't Tell Mama, which opened back in 1982. I hope this doesn't sound like an advertisement. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that on YouTube. Might get in trouble for that. But anyway, just couldn't resist talking to you about this place. The, these places just fascinate me. Well, anyway, that's it. Well, just done. Just a nice soul record. But I like that dance music. Boy, that up-tempo bad habits. Check out, check out the video to it. Most of it in black and white. But anyway, Strangers in a Strange World from the movie Beach Street on my fancy playlist. An ad on my fancy playlist June 4th, 1984.